War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Hello my guys and ghouls, I am Pitch Dark, and welcome to a new Let's Play, and this is Fallout 3. I'm, I'm very excited to play this game. Um, I've, I've played this before uh, a lot of times, actually. Um, and in, in my opinion, I, I think this is probably, I think, the best out of the Fallout series. Um, it's Again, it's, it's modded. It has um, a lot of graphical improvements, a lot of gameplay improvements. I'll list all the mods I'm using in the description. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment and let me know. Um, so I think we will be a, a boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh. oh James. We did it. A son. Our beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. I'm adorable. Hi there. Hi. I'm your daddy, little Hey, daddy. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. Hi, mama. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother yes. and I have been talking. What do you think about... All right. Um, player's name. I have no idea what I'm going to put in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put my name in and um, make my character, uh, and then I'll cut back. That's a good name, don't you think? It is. So I decided on Grayson. That's my actually my dog's name. Like finished the gene projection. Let's <laughs> so this is for you, buddy. Like when you're all grown up. All right. So this is where I'll design my character, and then I'll I'll cut back. Okay, I'm back. So I just kind of just did some random stuff here, and um, so this is going to be what we look like when we get older. So we're currently um, a baby, obviously. <laughs> so. Um, when we get to age, this is what we will look like. Uh, yes, I do. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? I don't think so. Oh, oh, very strapping. 
It's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? I'm going to be an awesome person. Catherine? But I'm going to be. Oh. Catherine. She's in cardiac are... arrest. Start compressions. Jeez. Get the baby out of here. Move. Move. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Uh oh. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. I don't think mommy's doing too good. All right. So basically, because of the mod I have in here, I can either do the default start. Or I can wake up alternative stuff, which skips all the vault stuff. Um, but I'm going to continue dreaming. Um, so you can see the whole beginning of the way the game actually starts. Okay. As I look back into the light. Come on. Walk All right, so we're still a, still a baby, learning to walk. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Thank you. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. Okay. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. We're not gonna we're not gonna stick around here. Let's kick the ball around a little bit. Yay. <laughs> Alright, um exit play pen. I did. Look at your special book. Dada. You are special. You are special. Okay, so this is where you we pick our attributes. Uh so it just explains what they are. I mean, it's all the same in all the games. All right. So we have five points. Um, I can actually, you can actually add and remove. So take a little bit out of luck. Uh, gonna add a couple in intelligence, a couple in strength, perception, um, charisma. Hmm. Actually, I'll just take one more out of charisma and put that into endurance. We'll try that. Oh, look, a teddy bear and a square block. A rattle. Grab a toy. Oh, I can grab a toy. Oh, hey. Yay. Eh. Hi, Dad. Quite the little explorer, aren't you? I am. Serves me right for trying on the chair. to bring you in. Come on over here. I get in that. I want to show you something. See that? It was what? your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible, Revelation twenty-one six. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Okay. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Yay, let's go play. Yay, let's go play. Let's go, Dada. Whee. Where are we going, Dada? Okay. Here we go. And another flash forward. Nine years later. The experiment to prepare. Prepare. Surprise! Surprise! Oh, right. The lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you. It's my birthday. Yay! He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother. Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101. When you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. Cool. So here you are. Ooh. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pit Boy 3000. Get Thank used you. to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> oh, great. Enjoy your party. That was kind of an evil laugh. 10 once, so have fun. Thank you. Well, that's true. We only oh, nine man. once and eight. Boy. 
at I 11. I was 10. Happy birthday! Oh. We really surprised you, didn't we? Yeah, I was really surprised. <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Well, well that's kind of mean. Um... Is this it? Or hasn't the real party started? Uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Um, a date with Christian Kendall. <laughs> I have no idea. Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Grognak. Issue 14. Yay. And with no missing pages. I found nice. this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Why, right, thank you. That's very nice of you. Where did the other guy go? Okay. Who are you? Happy birthday, Sonny. Thank you. Are you having a nice time? Um, yes, Mr. I hope Overseer, sir. I appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. I do. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Oh. Well, that was kind of mean. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, <laughs> young man. I'm like still him. the Overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Aye, aye, Captain. Chuck. Are you having a nice party? Ten I am, ma'am. Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen what? to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? What was that supposed to mean? No, it seemed like yesterday. Um, oh, you'd have to bring me a present. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again and like you're an listening person. so politely. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a good go. person. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. Mm. No sharing required Hope today. Hope no one steals my sweet roll. Attention, everyone. It's oh. time to cut the cake. Yay, it's cake time. Oh. Dude. No. Oh, it's Allow okay, Amara. Wish you a happy birthday. Take one of those, I guess. I Yay. could offer you a piece of cake, but... but you screwed it up. Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. Who are you getting? I'm getting hungry, for? and that stupid robot destroyed Which? the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from Old Lady Palmer. Screw you. Um. Spit on the sweet roll. Give it to him. Yeah, I don't, I don't take crap from bullies. So, go soak your head, Butch. Oh, yeah? We'll see yeah. about that. I'm gonna be sorry, Daddy. I told you not hey, to act what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I know you were joking, but I'm not sure anyone else did. Butch, what no do you think sense. you're doing? Leave People him alone. always enjoy my you little You all right, son? Besides, that jerk. Yours could use a reminder nice that life is yeah, I'm fine. What is that? Modern games. One of the 3,000 A models? Uh, this party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons. Party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Oh, another uh, jerk. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting You're a jerk like these really guys? Cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Alright, I kinda like you. Hey, you should try it sometime, Daddy. Might like it. Uh, I don't what, know what you're oh. problem, anyway? Oh. I can't He's... believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. I have a better word to describe it, but I'm only 10, so I'm not gonna use it. Uh, he's lucky Gomez stopped the fight before I really hurt him. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey. Yeah, I can Paul. stand up for myself. So, what do you think we should call to your new best totally friend. Are you alright? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? Yeah. Dad. Don't worry, I can handle it. I'm glad to hear it. Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. That's true. Come on now. 
I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you. I don't condone fighting, but you know, sometimes you have to, have to do what you have to do. Nice. Such an ass. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Yes, it's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? Oh, what happened? Okay. Good ideas. Try that again. Did you did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. Wow, you can be really mean. Uh, thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. I, yeah, oh, you gave me a I baseball cap, too? Mentors. What a great guy. Alright, can I? Oh, I can go in here. Alright, inventory. Melee weapons plus five. Oh, that's cool. Um, all right, let's put on my birthday hat. Can I go third per? I can. Let's see. Yeah, I'm a cool look. I'm a good looking kid. Butch, jerk. I'm glad to be here. I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people. You know, as part of my job. Plus, well, happy birthday, Jonas. Thank you. Uh, hey, sure thing, Officer Gomez. Well, it's been nice chatting Thanks. with you. Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, that Who was me? Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Cool. Thanks, Whoa. Dad. That's your hobby? <laughs> Sorry about Butch. Give me an idea Dad said we had to invite him. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know. You thank you, for, thank you, Amada. Happy birthday, Ooh, dearie. My goodness. Beatrice. I hope I didn't miss the party. Well, a little bit. Um. <laughs> Stop calling me dearie. Can my present now? Yeah, my dad and Amada threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old yeah. with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this like was it? such a special occasion, do you know what I did? What? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. A poem? you got to be kidding me. Um, thank you all, Treasure. Of course. Advice. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. My ideas All right, so we got a poem. Let's read this poem. Uh, is it the data? That's PA system. That's what I'm listening to, I think. Notes. Here we go. Birthday poem. Gray walls of penetrable steel. Suffocation. <laughs> Condemnation. Little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy? Daddy? Am I dead? Nay, nay. Reborn into purifying fluorescence. This lady's crazy a face emerges strong and male father to me father to all overseeing our lives our eternities harshness of discipline harshness of love obedience my savior lava to papa papa to worker buzz buzz one with the stale honeycomb ten lies within the 101 significant at last tall gray seeps from walls to hair to soul, then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. Well, that's just oh, never lovely. I can't my mom um, okay. Party. God, I hate that kid. So we're going into a reactor, I believe. We're really cranking the music over here, aren't we? Alright, let's go find Jonas. Jonas! What are hey, you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. But, but, Dad, uh, Dad said it was okay. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Oh, Jonas. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> I don't think that's Hold true. On <laughs> I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. I, I guess kind of true, but... Where is Dad? Dad? Hey, Dad. 
Are you Papa. ready for your surprise? I am. And uh, what kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. Ooh, it's yay. a little old, but it should work perfectly. That's Jonas okay. found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, good what do one, you think? Dad. Want to give it a try? Sure. Um, here? What do I get to kill? We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Okay. Thank you, Jonas. It looks well, like a target area. Think? Looks you good. Come down here and shoot anytime you want. Uh, whatever. A shotgun would have been nice. This is so Couldn't great. Thanks. Done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Thanks a lot, Jonas. This is really, really, really cool. Um. Yeah, no. Hey, you don't turn ten me. every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Okay. All right, fire your weapon, push mouse one. So it's already so my. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So I have to adjust. Hold on. I don't know if I can adjust it yet. Maybe I can. The gun oil. This right here. Um, so right now the minimum drift is zero. Current hand drift is zero. Uh, is it this? That's vanilla. Let's go back. Let's try that. Okay, that's a little bit better. The drifting thing in this is kind of weird. It gets better, like... Let's try low. It gets better as you get better with, with weapons and stuff, but... It's kind of weird that you wouldn't really drift like that. That looks more realistic, I think. Careful, it's a rad roach. Ooh. You think you can take care of that with I, your BB I can. Just aim <laughs> and shoot. All right, but I think you can use vats also. Uh, press escape. Per... All right, so. Vats is just like with Fallout 4. Now I also have, uh, in f I think it's in the Fallout Wanderers edition where I have um, bullet time. Um, I don't think I can use that yet until after we're uh, um, after the the initial start of this. So um, we'll use Vats for now. I usually don't use Vats um, unless I really, really need to. Oh, that sounds like a gun. I'm better. I'm better without bats. Is that it? Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's yeah. get a picture together. Capture sure. the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. All right, let's put that away. Smile. Let's get next to Dad. Oh, where's my gun? Ah, uh, I wanted it in the picture. That's a bummer. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Um... GOAT. Anything I need to know about the GOAT? Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, 
Pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born, born in, the in the vault, we die, we die in the vault. Yes, he just tested likes to, to say determine that their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Okay. Um, do we have to die? We can never leave. That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. Well, he's not here. I want to I'm tell you here. something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? Yes, you sir. You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Well, how do you know what's out there? Is it true, Dad? Was everybody that's born in the That's what the overseer says, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Okay. Um, can we talk about Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here. I'm good luck. Yes, sir. Okay. So what we'll do is um. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, because I don't want to forget this. So I found the Vault Tech Limited Edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads: "The smart man knows a bandage." Only hides his wounds. Your medicine skill has been permanently increased by five points. Awesome. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here, and then we will uh, continue on next time. Uh, we'll take the goat class, and eh? see what happens after that. I uh, do thank you for watching. Please remember to hit that like button, Morning, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time.